Hi everybody, Chris here. You might know me from the Blue Collar Geeks podcast. I wanted to join the internets and start a little passion project of mine. I am an eBay seller. I sell on Craigslist. I like to pick and go garage selling and stuff like that on the weekends. And I wanted to make a little bit of a self-serving YouTube channel. Um, I know that a lot of people post these videos to give back, but as you can see, as the title of my YouTube channel is Picker Noobs. Um, I wanted to create a space or a place for pickers to come, learn, share, and uh, build their e-selling internet businesses. Um, I have a couple of years experience, but I have a full-time job, another podcast, and a lot of things going on, but I want to move into the full-time uh, with my eBay selling. Um, I want to get into Amazon FBA. Um, I know about this much when it comes to Amazon stuff, but I wanted to dip my toe into the YouTube space and see if I can connect with some people that might be in the same position. Just to give a little bit of background of what I've been doing and where I am right now when it comes to eBay, uh, I have the most I ever have had in my store is uh, I'm averaging about 160 items. Now that has brought me consistently each month anywhere between $800 to $1,200 um, profit a month, which is totally awesome. Um, and I think I'm doing pretty well. I normally floated around 50, 60 items. Uh, that's all I had time for in listing, and that brought me a consistent six to $800 a month. But um, I enjoy it. I'm good at it. Uh, I'm capable of finding things in, in the worst circumstances, the most ghetto garage sales that you can possibly go to and pull profit out of it. Um, so it's my passion. I want to make it something full-time. Um, just like most of the people, uh, don't really like my job. It's not very fulfilling. Uh, putting my time in for someone else and knowing that no matter how hard I work, mm, there is a limit to the amount that I can make. Unlike eBay, where the harder I work, the smarter I work, and the more avenues that I go down, my earning potential just goes to the roof. So, all that to say, I wanted to start an online space, whether it's within the comments uh, below uh, this video and videos to come. Uh, I'm going to start a Facebook page that will be Picker Noobs. Um, for anybody to come in, I'm looking for potential people to be moderators, maybe even people that want to help me make these videos. We can start discussions. There's a lot of great resources out there. We have the Green Room, which... Uh, you have the college picker, you have raking profit, uh, retro aficionado, and <laughs> the host. Oh, I can do this. Um, Bonafide Hustler. Uh, great resource there. Um, I listened to a couple of podcasts, Secondhand Pickers, which is phenomenal. There's only two really good eBay podcasts out there. Um, and also uh, Scavenger Life, which I highly recommend both of them. Um, the... Other resources, uh, Danny Ackerman, I think she kind of pulled her long videos off the internet and you have to subscribe to her stuff. She used to be really good and I used to go to her all the time. Um, Gil Daddy Gil Mama, also great resources, but I want to make this channel different. I want it to be for those of us who are learning. I'm learning. I'm kind of spoiled. I've been able to ship through work some of the time. Um, I am aware of where my profit margins are when... Um, I am shipping through USPS or UPS, FedEx, stuff like that. But I'm still learning the ins and outs. Never used a regional box before. Um, I try to put as much as I possibly can into poly mailers, but I know there's a thousand different ways to ship things, a thousand different options. Um, and I want to learn them all. So it's a totally self-serving channel. I'm going to give you guys a up-to-date uh, where I am with my YouTube project. Um, I want to be full-time by the end of the summer, if possible, a lot of that has to do with instilling confidence in my wife that I can do this and make um, as much as I do with my full-time job. Of course, that's probably everybody's wife or husband out there. They want to feel comfortable when you jump ship. So I'm going to be giving my numbers. I'm going to be giving my finds of the week like everybody else does. Um, but I also want to have hate mail which is pretty much people critiquing what I'm saying, telling me, when, telling me when I'm wrong and what is right. 
and that does nothing but help me. So please, if I'm an idiot, please let me know. Tell me why I'm an idiot and how I should be doing it. Um, also, I'd like to, again, get more people on with me. Um, it doesn't totally need to be about me or my channel. I'd like to create a community of noobs to where if there's a bunch of people in my position wanting to jump ship and we've only really put our toe in the water when it comes to eBay and stuff, we can work together, get smarter together, find resources together, um, look at trying different avenues together and stuff like that. So look me up. Uh, the email for this I'm going to post right next to my head if my iMovie works properly um, is pickernoobs at gmail.com. I'm also going to have pickernoobs up on Facebook. And if anybody knows how to put in metadata into YouTube videos to where people can search these videos just by putting in eBay sellers and stuff like that, super helpful. Please help me out. Um, if you're interested in jumping on or getting in contact with me, please do that. <laughs> so if you're interested, please get in touch with me. Uh, you can also look me up at bluecollargeeks at gmail.com. Uh, we're on iTunes, Stitcher, and you can hear all the fun geek stuff. This is Moose. You'll probably probably be seeing a lot more of him. Waiting, Moose. And I'm going to talk about my find of the week, which is... Let's see if he's going to jump out of my lap. <laughs> this right here. Uh, I actually got two of these. And I went to an old Nazarene church, and they have their yearly... Um, garage sale where everybody brings their stuff in. I love going to uh, garage sales with older people. Uh, even if it's in a trailer park, I don't care. Or <laughs> if it's in a trailer park, if it's at a church, um, they a lot of the times have knickknacks just lying around that they've had for years. Um, and this would be one of them. Uh, it is a candlestick holder from Candlewick International Sterling Silver. Uh, let's see if I can show you. It's really pretty. Uh, it's tarnished. It has a little bit of wax inside, but with some polishing, um, I paid $2 for these. The last set that sold of two, which I have, uh, went for 95 bucks. So that would be my find of today. Um, I got a couple of suits that I paid 10 bucks for that I should sell for 120 which is really cool, but I like these because I can ship them for like five bucks, uh, which is totally awesome. So everybody stay tuned for next week. We are going to cover the absolute basics of listing an item through your phone. I know that some of you, that might be completely boring, um, but I have a few friends even that want to get started and they are really overwhelmed when it comes to listing and shipping. So we're going to cover just the basics. Um, and hopefully I get into contact with somebody before then. We can do a, I believe, Google Hangouts and then record that and put it on here. Be totally awesome. If somebody knows how all that works, please tell me because you guys are lucky that I'm even capable of doing this. So, until next time. Got nothing.